All right, everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me in this initial public offering where we are going to look at a company called Beamer. So Beamer initial public offering, you will be super surprised to find out what this tiny IPO, what customers it has. So the companies that turn to Beamer are very well known and they're some of the biggest companies globally and i'm very shocked i was shocked to see this customer base but before i continue mumu is the proud sponsor of this video it's an app that has over 18 million traders you can chat with other traders you can follow other traders there's groups that traders build of their own to help each other out and if you use my link in the comment section below you'll get 10 free stocks for signing up with my link and starting trade on Momo. So Beamer Imaging is aiming for a $15 million IPO. This is a company that is based in Israel and it was founded to develop advanced video and image optimization software technologies that maximize the quality of the video. Uh, it, it, re, it removes visual redundancies and it actually results in a smaller file size while containing the same exact quality and not noticing any difference. Management is headed by founder, chairman, and CEO Sharon Karma, who has been with the company since 2009. So the company offers Beamer HW Accelerated Content Adaptive Encoding. They offer the Beamer 4 H264 Encoder and Related, Beamer 5 H EVC Encoder and Related, and Beamer JPEG Mini Photo Optimization Software. The company has received an investment of $30 million from investors such as Innovation, Marker, Innovation Endeavors, Disruptive Technologies, and Verizon Ventures. Customers that this company has, I repeat, the customers this company has are Netflix, Snapfish, Viacom CBS, Paramount, Microsoft, VMware, and Walmart. Now the total revenue of this company is $3.1 million in 2020 and $3.3 million in 2021. So they had a slight increase of 3.9% in revenue. This is a, actually a uh, young uh, company. Gross profit went in 2020 from 3 million to 3.2 and their gross margin is 97%, which is insane. They also have Microsoft Azure as a customer. Operating profit loss, 1.6 million to $425,000 in 2021. Net income loss went from 2.4 to $952,000 in 2021. And cash flow from operations went from $1 million to $569,000. If we look at their cash, it's $1 million in cash, $6.2 million in total liabilities. And their free cash flow is positive $565,000. They're going to offer 1.36 million shares. That's it, 1.36 million shares. But I had a proposed midpoint price of 11 bucks a share. If we look at the market cap, it's $129 million. Enterprise value, 115. Price to sales, 39. EV2 revenue, 34.9. Their EV2 bid at negative 271. Earnings per share, negative 8 cents. Operating margin, negative 12.8. Net margin, negative 28.8. Free cash flow yield per share is 0.44%. And their revenue growth is 3.9%. Valuation score is a 3 out of 5. I like the customer base. I like what this company is offering. And uh, the underwriter is Think Equity. But for what this company is worth, for the market cap, for the revenue they're bringing in, 11 bucks a share, I think is too much. So for that reason, I am going to stay out of this initial public offering. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best. Take care.